Good morning and welcome to Online Storytime with the Pflugerville Public Library. My name is Amanda Cawthon and today we are going to sing some fun songs and read a great book about ladybugs. Have you started going out into your garden yet and seeing any bugs? Some of the flowers and things are coming up a little bit later this year because we had all of the freeze and everything, but I bet that there are some beautiful flowers out there now that you can enjoy. I just planted a garden this last weekend and I'm so excited to see if I get flowers from my garden. Let's talk about different kinds of bugs that we might see in our garden while we're out there. Oh, you know what guys? I got so excited about talking about ladybugs, I forgot to sing our good morning song. Let's sing them while we get together. And then we're gonna go back to the books. I'm just so excited about the ladybugs, you guys. Here we go, we're gonna sing them while we get together and I'll sing it two times. So the first time, if you don't know the words, you can just listen. And then the second time, you can sing with me. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. When your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now we can talk about bugs. So let's see, we're gonna pretend to be some bugs. So if we wanted to be a butterfly, what do, you, what do butterflies have? They have beautiful wings. Can you flap your butterfly wings with me? Good. Now what if we wanted to make our hands into a spider? A spider is a bug that we might see in a garden. Let's see, we could do this just like when we sing the itsy bitsy spider. Good. Now, uh-oh, what's a bug that might bite you and it hurts if it bites you? An ant, yep, ant bites, they give you a little, oop, a little pinch, and then you get a little bit itchy, but then it gets better. But how would we be an ant? Let's see, can you make an ant crawling on your arm? You know, when I was a little girl, I loved ants so much, I used to play with the little black ants and I called them my friend ants. And for some reason, they never bit me. But I don't recommend that. Let's see, let's do one other one. My favorite one, the roly-poly. Are you ready? Everyone, on the count of three, be a roly-poly. That was so good! Do it one more time, ready? Here we go. I'm gonna count to three, I'm gonna say roly-poly, and I want you to curl up in a little ball. One, two, three, roly-poly! Good job! Excellent roly-poly impression. Now, we're going to sing a song. We're gonna sing, I have a little lady, but let's get started with that. Let's see, I need to get some supplies real quick. I'll be right back. All right, next we're gonna sing, I have a little ladybug. And for this, it's fun if you have a scarf to do with it, but if you don't have a scarf like this, you could use a dish towel or a washcloth, or you can, you can just use your hands. But I just have this scarf and I like it because it's red, just like a ladybug. So we're gonna use this red scarf today. I have a little ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. I have a little ladybug. Its wings are black and red. All right, now we're gonna pinch in the middle. We're gonna make it fly like this. Here we go. See the little ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. See the little ladybug flying here and there. All right, and now we're gonna twirl our scarves. Like this, good. Now it's landing on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. Now it's landing on the ground and crawling everywhere. Great, I think it's time to read our book. All right, for our book today, we are going to read you Who Ladybug. This is written by Mem Fox, and the illustrator has a very interesting last name that I've never seen before. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but I'm gonna do my best. It's illustrated by Laura Lundqvist. And I'm very excited to get to read this book to you today with permission from the publisher, Simon & Schuster. 
This book is really fun because it's a seek and find book. We're gonna try to find the ladybug throughout this whole book. And this is a really fun one if you can check this out and read it at home because you really wanna be able to look closely at those pages and find the ladybug because she's very, very small. Ladybug loves to hide. Yoo-hoo, ladybug, where are you? There you are. So ladybug is hiding somewhere on this page. Hmm. There you are. I see ladybug poking out from behind the rubber ducky. Afloat in the bath with duck and giraffe. <gasps> Yoo-hoo, ladybug. Where are you? Now let's see, where did ladybug go in this picture? Is ladybug hanging out with the squirrel? No. <gasps> with the robot? No. What about this blue rooster? Well, there's blocks that spell B-U-G, bug, but I don't see ladybug. Let's turn the page and see where ladybug has been hiding. <gasps> Tucked in a box with rabbit and fox. There's ladybug. Yoo-hoo, ladybug. Where are you? There you are. Let's see, where could Ladybug be now? Down here with the shoes? Maybe here with the nesting doll? Or over here with the clock? Well, I don't see Ladybug there. Let's turn the page and see where Ladybug is hiding. Stuck on the stairs with a couple of bears. There's Ladybug hiding behind the blue bear. Yoo-hoo, Ladybug, where are you? There you are. Let's see, where could that Ladybug be? In the house? No, I don't see the Ladybug in those windows. Maybe behind the ukulele. Nope, no ladybug. Let's see. Oh, outside the house with chicken and mouse. We looked inside the house, but we didn't look outside right here with chicken. Yoo-hoo, ladybug, where are you? There you are. All right, now let's see. Uh-oh, I hope the ladybug is not hiding over here with the kitten because kittens like to chase little bugs. Nope, no ladybug there. Over here with the yellow car? Nope. Let's see where ladybug is hiding. Up in the tree with the bluebird and bee. And there's little ladybug. Yoo-hoo, ladybug. Where are you? <gasps> Ladybug, have you flown away? Is our game over for the rest of the day? Do you see Ladybug with any of these animals? I don't see Ladybug. Where are you, Ladybug? Hmm. There you are, zooming around in your very own car. There's Ladybug, and that is the end. I hope that you enjoyed that book. So if you wanna check out You Who Ladybug, you can borrow that from the library by going onto the library catalog and putting it on reserve. It's by Mem Fox, who's a really awesome author that writes tons of great books. And I suggest you 
check out some of hers also. Some of her, some of her other books in the library too. All right, we're gonna sing I'm a Little Ladybug. So for this, we're gonna use our fingers and our hands and our arms. Here we go. I'm a little ladybug on the go, landing on an arm, then on an elbow. See me flying round and round, round your hand. Now watch as on your thumb I land. There we go. Do you see him right there on your thumb? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna sing another song now. We're gonna do a counting song with, or a counting rhyme, I should say, with these ladybugs. Aren't these ladybugs so cute? Miss Carmen made these for us to use and I just love them so much. I'm so excited she made these adorable ladybugs. Let's count the ladybugs and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five ladybugs. And let's see how many spots each ladybug has. One, two, three, four. Four spots. Let's count how many spots they have all together. Four spots on five ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty spots! And grown-ups, an important tip that Miss Carmen also taught me is that whenever you're counting things for your kids and showing them, it's important to try to count from top to bottom, left to right, left to right, top to bottom, because later when they're learning to count, that helps them to not miss anything as they're counting. Here we go. Five little ladybugs climbing up a door. One flew away and now there are four. Four little ladybugs sitting on a tree. One flew away and now there are three. Three little ladybugs landed on a shoe. One flew away. And now there are two. Okay. Two little ladybugs looking for some fun. One flew away. And now there is one. One ladybug sitting in the sun. She flew away, and now there are none. All right, I brought a couple of the books out to show you that you can also check out and borrow from the library. So this one right here is The Bog Baby. I read this one years ago, and I love it so much. This is by Jean Willis and Gwen Willard. And I just, oh, I'm sorry, I mispronounced that name, Millward. It's got a very fancy M <laughs> right here. So the bog baby, and I love this book so much. It's about a pair of sisters and they find a bog baby. And this other one is another book by Mem Fox. Remember how I told you that Mem Fox writes tons of good books? Well, this is one of them. It's called This and That by Mem Fox and Judy Horacek. So I think those are both great books that you'll enjoy. And I brought something else to show you your craft that you're gonna make. So you're gonna get a little Ziploc baggie that has all the parts to make this adorable little ladybug. So you'll glue the wings on and then you're gonna add the dots and you'll add the eyes and the head and that's how you make your ladybug. Thank you so much for joining me today at Online Story Time. I'm so excited to um, I'm so excited that I got to share all these fun bug books with you. So we're gonna sing our goodbye song. Before I sing, I just wanted to remind you, it's the end of the month, and that means that pretty soon we're going to have new story time kits available for next month. So don't forget, early each month, we have story time kits that are available to pick up curbside at the library. So check the library calendar for details about when those will be available so you can get them. The story time kits are first come, first served. Let's sing our goodbye song. Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon, see you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon on another day. See you next time. <laughs>